गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड क्वेश्चन नंबर वन एंड टू ऑफ द एक्सरसाइज टू पॉइंट टू ओके इन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉज हाउ टू एक्सप्लेन द नंबर्स यूजिंग एक्सपोनेंट्स एंड द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन वॉज एक्सप्रेस द नंबर्स इन द स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म और द साइंटिफिक नोटिशन ओके होप यू हैव डन ऑल दीज टू क्वेश्चन इन द प्रैक्टिस नोटबुक एज वेल एज इन द फेयर नोटबुक ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गो फॉर द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ द क्वेश्चन एंड देन गो फॉर द फेयर वर्क द थर्ड क्वेश्चन इज सिंप्लीफाई द फॉलोइंग एक्सप्रेशन बाई कन्वर्टिंग दैम इन टू साइंटिफिक नोटेशन ओके नाउ यू हैव टू एक्सप्रेस ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन ऑल दीज पार्ट ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन द लोएस्ट फॉर्म ओके एंड देन यू हैव टू कन्वर्ट दैन दैम इन टू द साइंटिफिक नोटेशन ओके नो सी यो पार्ट नंबर वन दिस इज योर पार्ट नंबर वन ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई हैव टू आई एम गोइंग टू राइट डाउन दिस अप न्यूमरेटर इन दिस फॉर्म ओके जीरो 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 सिक्स टू फाइव ओके आफ्टर डेसीमल दीज मेरे डिजिट्स आर देयर सो आई एम राइटिंग हाउ यू कैन राइट दिस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ओनली राइट डाउन न्यूमरेटर ओके एंड देन गो फॉर द डिनोमिनेटर so look here you have to write down सिक्स to फाइव first of all here okay divided by now you tell me if I'll remove the decimal how many zeros will come in the denominator you just have to count down uh, count that that how many uh, digits are there after the decimal now there are one two three four five six seven digits so you have to write in this way सिक्स ट्वेंटी फाइव Divided by one and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven number of zeros. This is very easy. You are doing this from the previous grades. Okay, how to remove decimal and how do you have to write down this in the form of fraction. Now come to the numerator. Okay, in numerator your five will be here. Now when you remove decimal, your Uh, means thousand, ten thousand, whatever it is there, it will go in the numerator. You know this thing, okay? If the decimal is in numerator, the number of zeros will come in the denominator. If the decimal is in the denominator, then the number of zeros will go in the numerator. Okay? Now you have to see that if I'll write here five. Now after decimal, how many digits are there? One, two, three, four. So I will write here one, one, two, three, four number of zeros. This step is the main step. This you have to do in all the parts of this first question. Okay, and then go for the uh, for cancelling. Okay, how you can cancel the terms? You can cancel four zeros and four zeros from here to here. Okay, now you can cancel five ones of five and five. So one twenty five. It will go on one twenty five. You can cancel this on five table. Five ones are five. Then five two is ten. Then five five is twenty five. Okay. So what is left in the numerator? In the numerator one twenty five is left, and in the denominator one thousand is left. Up to here is clear. Now come to the scientific notation. So one twenty five upon one thousand. How I can write this? If I have to write this fraction in the decimal form, how I can write? I can write in this way: zero. This how many zeros are there? One, two, three. So before three digits, you have to place a decimal. That's it. Okay. Before this three digits, you have to place a decimal. Clear? Now, now the scientific notation method. I told you the concept of scientific notation. Wherever the decimal is there. you just have to check the decimal and you have to place that decimal after first digit after first digit decimal should not be after zero it should be after first digit if i'll place decimal from here to here it will be 1.25 earlier it was 0.125 now it is 1.25 and multiply by If I have taken now, I have shifted decimal from here to here after one digit. So after one digit means ten raised to power minus one. Ten raised to power minus one. Whenever you are placing decimal from here to here, right hand side, your power will always come in negative. 
clear so this is your answer this is your part number a okay now i'm going to tell you part number b this is your part number b this is your question okay again i'm going to write in the same manner that i have written here first of all take the numerator okay you have to see the digits okay write here digits 4096 divided by after decimal how many digits are there count the digits and place that number of zeros okay that will come in the form of 100 1000 10000 lakh crore 10 crore million whatever it is there okay just check it out okay now come to this side multiply by this is denominator right here 64 and that number of zeros will go in the numerator okay now cancel these zeros 1 2 3 4 5 zeros from here to here okay and cancel this on the h table i have cancel this on the h table 64 and 4096 you can cancel it how ma'am has cancel you can check once and it will go on 64 okay now in the numerator what is left 64 left and in denominator what is left these many zeros left 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 zeros left okay so how i can write this first of all this is not a scientific notation i am writing this in the form of this first of all okay if i have to write this fraction in the decimal form how i can write down count number of zeros number of zeros are 8 so you have to place before 8 digits 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 before 8 digits place a zero okay if your digits are 6 2 see one more thing if digits are only 2 okay then you have to place that number of zeros so that it will be eight digits okay now but in the now this is not a scientific notation okay scientific notation is this one okay now how you can write down first of all i have converted this okay now i'm going to write this in the scientific notation uh, the main rule of scientific notation is you have to place decimal from here to right hand side after first digit okay so first digit is 6 6.4 now you have shifted decimal before 4 before 4 so before 4 how many digits are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so multiply by 10 raised to power 7 clear this is your answer clear this is your part number b i hope you all are getting the concept first of all how you can remove the decimals how you can cancel the terms from numerator to denominator then you uh, then after your answer will come you have to convert this in the this fraction in the form of decimal okay and then you have to convert in the form of scientific notation okay part number a and part number b now i'm going to start part number c this is a part number c okay <coughs> c one say again the first concept is you have to write down 16807 here and how many zeros will come count the digits 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay so one okay one you have to write one and that that number of zeros 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 number of zeros multiply by come to this denominator this denominator will come here and uh, and the in the numerator how many zeros will be there 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 0 zeros and 1 now cancel these number of zeros with these number of zeros okay so how many zeros left two zeros 100 is left okay now I'm, i have cancel this on seven table this and this you can check once okay how ma'am has cancelled <clears throat> so after cancelling 49 is left so in the numerator what is left 49 divided by 100 is left okay now i can write this in the form of this this fraction in the form of decimal okay so i can i am writing this uh, 49 upon 100 means 0.49 this is clear now the scientific notation is this is not scientific notation this is a scientific notation okay you have to place decimal after the first digit so after first digit i am placing a decimal okay now how many numbers of uh, zeros will be here into 10 raised to power minus 1 because i have shifted only after one digit so 10 raised to power minus 1 this is your answer 
clear this is your part number c now your third question is complete okay we have done all these three parts okay wherever you are facing a problem please pause the video and start the steps once again okay now i'm going to start the question number 4th that is observe the following facts express the numbers appearing in them in the standard form fourth question is given you in the form of statements okay you just have to understand it and then you have to change it in the form of scientific notation or standard form now your part number a is the radius of the hydrogen atom is one uh, is 0.53 angstrom whereas one angstrom is equal to 0.8 number of zeros then one meter okay convert it into meters and express it in standard form okay now you have to convert first of all this uh, radius of hydrogen atom into the meter which is given you in the angstrom okay and then express in the standard form now come to the solution your solution is here radius of hydrogen atom is equal to 0.53 angstrom where 1 angstrom is equal to 0. these many zeros 1 meter okay now how you can convert this angstrom into meter you just have to multiply 0.53 into 0.00000000001 meter okay this is your conversion first of all convert and then you can write in the scientific notation so i'm going to write this uh, one divided by i'm going to write this decimal in the fraction form okay this you know very well okay so 0.53 multiplied by 10 raised to power see how many zeros are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 sorry 8 10 zeros are there okay okay 10 zeros so 10 zeros means 10 raised to power minus 10 okay so i can write this if 1 upon 1 and this many zero these many zeros are there so i can write this in uh, in this way okay how many zeros are there count it and then write down 10 raised to power that number of zeros and that will come in minus okay now scientific notation is you have to place zero from here to here after first digit okay so when i'll place here 5.3 will be there okay into how many digits after how many digits i have placed it after one digit so 10 raised to power minus 1 into 10 raised to power minus 10 this is here okay and this minus 1 will come from here okay now 5.3 as it is so 10 raised to power minus 1 into 10 raised to power minus 10 okay minus 1 and minus 10 it will become minus 11 okay and you can apply law here okay a raised to power m into a raised to power n okay so a raised to power n plus n powers will be added clear so this is your answer this is your first part only in the first part you have to convert it and then you have to express in the standard form in other all the parts you just have to write down in the standard form okay <clears throat> now the second b part is the average thickness of the human hair is 0.004 inches okay now the solution is average thickness of human hair is equal to 0.004 inches okay now write down in the standard form or scientific notation you have to place zero, uh, decimal after first digit after 4 Okay, so four point zero. So after how many digits you have shifted decimal? One, two, three. So ten raised to power minus three. This is your answer. Okay, I told you in the first part only you have to convert and then go for the scientific notation. Other parts are very simple. Okay, now C part is the length of amoeba is zero point zero 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 five meter. Okay, now so. Here is write down length of amoeba is zero point zero 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 five meter. Now standard form is you have to shift decimal after first digit. So after first digit means after how many digits you have shifted one two three four. So multiply by ten raised to power minus four. Okay. So five point zero multiply by ten raised to power minus four. Now D part is. 
the mass of a grain of sand is approximately 0. these many gram okay now write here the mass of a of grain of sand is equal to this okay now write down in the standard form shift the decimal after the first digit means after 3 so 3.5 and how many digits are there before 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so multiply by 10 raised to power 7 this is your answer now last part is the charge of an electron is these many zeros and 1602 coulombs this is the charge of an electron given okay now i'm writing here the charge of an electron is equal to this so the standard form will be shift the decimal from here to the right hand side right hand side means after first digits so it will come after one 1.602 now before six how many numbers are there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen so 10 raised to power minus 19 this is your answer clear now we have solved third and fourth question today okay now i'm giving you question number fifth for the homework in the question number fifth it is very simple these are the colors green orange yellow red blue violet and these are the wavelengths okay wavelength is given of all these colors you have to just write down in the scientific notation suppose first part is this so you have to place decimal you have to shift decimal after first digit so it will be 5.3 multiply by before three how many numbers are there one two three four five six seven so 5.3 multiply by 10 raised to power minus 7 i am doing first part here it will be 5.3 multiply by 10 raised to power before three how many digits are there one two three four five six seven so minus seven this is the answer in this way you have to write down all and then after doing this you have to arrange them in the increasing order <clears throat> okay you have to arrange them in the increasing order suppose this is 5.3 it will be 6.2 and 5.8 7.0 okay you just have to write in the increasing order means first of all smaller then bigger then bigger then bigger okay so that you uh, that answer will be there so your homework is i hope you have done first and second question in the fair notebook now today's homework is question number th third and fourth in the fair notebook okay and then solve first of all fifth question properly okay and then write down in the fair notebook so first five question you have to note down in the fair notebook in the next lecture we'll discuss question number six seven eight nine ten okay till the time bye bye take care